So today we're going to discuss about how to find out the market trend, right? Just a minute. So today we are going to discuss how to identify the trend. So most of the people are asking when I'm creating YouTube videos, so people are asking me, so sir, how to find the market trend? So people are mostly they are getting uh, confused when they are going to trade because every time I'm telling to everybody that when you are going to trade, you just find out the market trend. So most of the people are, they are facing a big problem when they're going to find out the trend. So I'm giving three options to find out the market trend. So let's start uh, first option, price action method, right? You can see this is the first option, price action method. The price action method is like when price is creating higher high and higher low. Suppose market is coming like that and create so like that and creating higher high. Have you seen this one? Higher high and higher low. That means that they are not able to break lower point and price just retraced at least 50 to 61 percent according to Fibonacci. So later I will explain how to find out the lower point. So next time they are creating a higher high. So when they are creating this type of method, so it's called price action method, right? So uh, next method is EMI cross. It's called moving average, exponential moving average. Especially most of the people are using according to their uh, choice, right? So I personally use exponential moving average mostly. So that is why I'm writing. So you can use a uh, simple moving average also, right? And the third is the price channel. Uh, this is the price channel. So when we'll get the three confirmation, one is price action method, two is uh, moving average crossover, and the third is price action, uh, sorry, price channel. So price channel breakout, it's called price channel breakout, right? So when we'll see the three uh, confirmation, so we'll confirm that the market has just changed. Right, so market is uh, running up trend or down trend. Right, so one by one, I will explain you. Uh, now you can see here first price action method. Uh, when we are going to say like that, this is the up trend, right? So we'll recognize as an up trend, it's that means make higher high, that means like that higher high and higher low. Right, higher high and higher low. Or here is a, another criteria, at least when they will create the three higher point, like higher point one, higher point two, higher point three. So we'll confirm that market is uptrend. Remember, this is the first method. And the second method is uh, almost the opposite, like that. They will create lower low and lower high, lower low, lower high and lower low. So we, we have seen here three lower point, one, two, three. When price will run like that, so we'll confirm the trend is downtrend. Criteria number one, this one, right? So another market is called sideways because uh, when you trade, so among the 100%, if you divide this 100% according to your um, trading time, like a market, so 70% market, 70 percent market stay in a sideway, right? When market will like uh, running in a, like that up and up and so after that they will start running like a sideway, like sideway. And after that again market will fail. Like here is a uh, 30 percent, like 15 percent is up down, uh, 50 percent is downtrend or a uh, one five fifty percent is a uptrend. Uh, it is total thirty percent. This is the thirty percent a market either bullish or either bearish, right? And the rest of the seventy percent market in a sideways market, right? So we'll discuss continuously. 
So when will recognize as a sideway market? So there is no higher point. Uh, they are not creating higher high like that. When we, we have seen uh, here like that, the market is running like that, like that, right? They will run like that. So it's called zigzag. So most of the people are trading here, and uh, uh, at that time the people are mostly the mostly uh, losing their money, right? So that is why in that area, no need to trade, right? In that area, you no need to trade because at that time people are not uh, able to find out the. Okay, just a minute. Uh, I think audio is not working. Okay. 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 Okay, just a minute. Right, uh, it's a sideway, right? This is a sideway. Just a minute, audio. I think uh, let me check it once. Audio. Okay. Okay, good. Audio is fine, right? So next is a uh, sideway market. So sideway market, they are not creating higher high or higher low. The price is running in a range, right? This is a very dangerous tire, uh, like uh, market. So who are new people? No need to trade in this. So I will tell you how to find it, find out that range, right? So how to trade. So most of the expert trader can trade. So I'm not I'm not uh, like um, uh, giving any advice to trade. You just find out the uptrend and downtrend, right? So I'll tell you how to find it. Uh, first criteria we have seen in the price action method, right? So next criteria you can see here. So let me show you here. This is the life chart. Uh, sorry, uh, this is the price chart. So now you can see in this market. So have you seen this one? The, the price was creating lower low, lower high, and the lower low, lower high, and the lower low. Have you seen this one? Lower low, lower high. Right. The price creating lower high. So after that. The price just break this previous higher point. Have you seen? The, the break, they broke this higher point and create a new higher high. Higher high. And after that, the price just push down. Right? So they create higher low. This is called higher low. We have seen uh, one higher high. Next, have you seen? It's another two higher high, right? This is a two higher high and higher low and a third higher high. So when they're creating three times higher high, so we'll confirm that market, uh, that was a bearish market. And now from that area, we confirm that market just began for uptrend, right? So that is why when price just uh, like uh, when we'll confirm that market just uh, start uptrend, so we'll start only buy. So I'll tell you how to buy. Like here it was a buy entry, buy entry, buy entry, because we are sell when price is up. I always telling you, remember, right? Later I will co combine all of them, right? This is the uptrend. Have you seen this one? So let's see in the next. And uh, here you can see this is a downtrend. In downtrend, you can see here they are creating lower low, lower high, lower low. This is the crude oil chart, the recent chart, because uh, in that area I was creating YouTube video, so people, most of the people are getting huge profit. So they already sent me their watch uh, screenshot also, right? So here we can see they are creating higher, uh, sorry, lower high and lower low. Lower low, second lower low, third lower low. When they broke this area, we confirm the market start uh, running in a downtrend. So in a downtrend, resistant area and we are selling point. Resistant area, selling point, right? So uh, I'll tell you how to trade. Now let's see uh, another. Uh, this is a downtrend. They're creating lower low. 
and another you can see this is a sideways market most dangerous time right most dangerous market so most of the people are losing their money and they make faster to the trader because when they are running in a sideways there are no indicator indicator will work for you whatever people are using supertran vwf mscd star stick rsi whatever you are using bollinger band pivot uh, sorry pivot point like parabolic chart whatever when price is running in a sideways market have you seen this is a sideways market uh, you can see this is a resistance line and that is a supporting line so it is called uh, uh, so when price just running in a sideways so people are most uh, professional trader in a running uh, trading in a uh, in this zone so this is called range trading so that is why they are finding a range so have you seen this is the range when price will comes like that area start buying sorry start buying this area and start selling this area in my youtube i am telling uh, uh, always i am finding some range so people are trading according to uh, that method right so in this area if you use here like here will give the support and just buy and price just fell down right here we'll give the sell it here and again hit the sl it happened and MSCD everything moving average never work in a sideway market that is why when you find out the sideway market always find the range so have you seen seen this is the range so in this range you must trade right that is why uh, you have to uh, find out the Race. so let me check it your questions okay so later i uh, will discuss about your questions uh, let me explain first uh, once let me check it so question question just a minute okay just a minute question okay okay everything fine right Voice is clear, right? Voice is clear, audio, audio is clear. Is this the leave MSS audio clear, audio is clear or not? Okay, good. Okay, good. So, and later I will discuss, uh, so you can ask me. So let me explain first, right? Uh, let me explain first uh, all about that market about the market how to find out so later we'll discuss uh, because i'll give it uh, opportunity to ask me so because uh, and i want to tell you that every saturday i will uh, discuss about the topic so this is the first topic how to find out the market uh, trend so later i uh, i'll discuss when to enter in this market and how to place SL, how, where is your pivot uh, supporting area, how to find out the supporting area, how to calculate Fibonacci. So every week in a Saturday, I'll like, uh, I'll explain like that, right? Most of the people are asking me because they wanna, uh, wanna learn how to trade and technical because uh, uh, so one by one, it's not possible to uh, teach. So that is why we are conducting our and uh, from Monday to Friday, I will be live on its market, right? So I'll analyze crude oil, zinc, lead, uh, bank, nifty, or any stock. You can stay with me, right, in a live. So you can ask me if you have a position so you can discuss with me. Because PBS is YouTube in the early morning and I'm posting our YouTube channel, right? So now we are planning, I'll be live with you for one or two hours. Oh, uh, that is where we are not planning, uh, like uh, thinking uh, either we are going to live on webinar in our morning or evening session. So you just leave a uh, comment. Uh, so at what time you uh, mostly you uh, people are preparing. So definitely we'll try, right? So now you can see this is the uh, zigzag pattern. So next uh, you can see uh, next uh, method EMI cross. That's why um, I'm uh, just taking three exponential moving average, 20, 50, and 150. And just remember this criteria, what I'm writing here. So first criteria you always remember when 20 
exponential moving average cross 50 moving average. Suppose this is 50, right, red one. Suppose this is a 50 moving average, 50 EMA, okay. EMA, so I hope you understand. Uh, and this is a 50 EMA and uh, let me change the color so it will be visualized then properly right so suppose this is a 20 moving average like that and uh, this is the 20 moving average 20 ema right okay when they cross each other so we'll confirm that the trend is changing but remember when they're crossing each it is a short term trend remember term trend not a long term so when they will cross from below to above from the short term trend uh, trend is running in a uptrend that means previously trend was uh, uh, down so when they will cross each other uh, that means uh, 20 exponential moving average intersect 50 moving average from below to upside and we'll confirm that just uh, trend has changed right so similarly opposite like that uh, this is a 50 moving average uh, sorry uh, this is a 50 moving average when they will uh, cross by the 20 moving average so we'll confirm this is a downtrend right so next criteria remember if 50 moving average cross 150 moving average all are exponential remember and pointing up like pointing up what is the meaning of point average should be point up like that so i'll explain everything okay and all moving average uh, arranging sequentially the trend is clear up or downturn that means suppose this is a 150 moving average this is a 50 moving average this is a 20 moving average so when they will arranging sequentially this is a small one 20 moving average right this is a 50 moving average and, and uh, this is a 150 moving average. So when they will arranging sequentially, we'll confirm that that downtrend is very clear. So when once we seen this one, so we'll start selling only, right? Remember. Okay. So wait, let me so somebody are uh, giving messages to me. I think uh, what is question? Okay, let me check it. Okay. How to record it in the video, sir? Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay, I'll tell you. So let me first, uh, let me complete this one. So, and uh okay so okay it's okay right the sequence now sideways so when i will confirm the market is sideways when market is sideways then all moving average is crossing each other like that it's called crisscrossing uh, there are no clear train all moving average crossing each other is to look like a zigzag when they are forming like that don't trade come out from the market just wait to be uh, to clear the trend Right, so I'll tell you, I'll show you how, how they are forming like that, right? Now, let's see here. So here, have you seen this one? This is a 20 moving average. This is a 50 moving average. And this is a 150 moving average, right? Have you seen here in this area, uh, 20 moving average cross 50 moving average, right? At that time, candle was forming here so when they're crossing each other so we'll confirm the short term trend not a long term remember short term trend are up and later you can see 50 moving average cross 150 moving average have you seen black is a 50 moving average 150 red is a 150 exponential moving average cross here at that time candle was here so cross it other and all moving averages are arranging have you seen clearly each other 
20 is above 50, 150. When they are forming, we'll confirm the market is a uptrend, clear uptrend. When they cross from this area, so it is confirming that market is clear uptrend. This is a criteria number two, right? So let's check it criteria number uh, two, this is, and here also you can see for the downtrend, right? So have you seen here 20 moving average cross uh, 50 moving average? And in that area, we must confirm the short term trend is down. And later you can see here, 50 moving average cross 150 moving average, and we'll confirm that the trend has just changed and is started in the downtrend. So when we have seen once in a downtrend, we'll start selling only. We never gonna take buy this anymore remember and later you can see there was uh, forming a resistant sell it resistant sell it resistant sell it and uh, later you can see they are uh, they are trying to change the trend so what i was telling another uh, another another here so at that time the moving average should be either pointing up or down have you seen both moving average pointing down but here at that time, 150 moving average was uh, not sloping toward uh, downside. So from this area and this area, we can say like a short term trend is down, right? And later you can see all moving averages pointing toward downside. Have you seen all moving averages pointing toward downside, toward downside, toward downside? So we must confirm trend has to change from up to down so we'll start selling from that area when we confirm it right so this is the next uh, method and uh, you can see here another uh, you can side have you seen very dangerous most of the 90 percent people are losing their money in this market only remember 90 percent because in my life according to uh, my analysis because you last uh, i am working as an analyst, last 10 years, first time I was working in a Forex. Basically, my preference currency was a Euro USD and a USD and JPB, Japanese yen. Uh, Sometimes also uh, I was trading in uh, right. So, or I have met in my life more than 10 to 20 thousand people who people they lost money during this market only it's called sideway very dangerous market right so what criteria was ema are crossing frequently each other have you seen all moving average crossing zigzag like that uh, crisscrossing? crossing have you seen uh, because when they are forming this type of uh, pattern leave that stop leave that commodity and find out the different uh, like uh, different uh, company company share right so this trading stage is a very dangerous so no need to trade most of the 90 percent people are losing their money in this market only not uptrend not downtrend the most of the people are losing their money in a sideway market the people are thinking just broke this area broke this area just start by market boom Right again, they're thinking this is a long bearish candle. Start selling from this world. market gone up because the people are not able to find out the market range. So I'll tell you how to find out the range, how to trade. And now you can see here and another method: price channel. Most important thing: price channel. When we'll see the three confirmations, so we'll confirm that market up or down. Right. So have you seen, this is a price channel. I just uh, given this is a aluminum, uh, sorry, it, uh, this is a zinc chart, the recent chart. So have you seen the price was just uh, running like that in a channel? Have you seen? This is called channel. So I draw this channel. I connected previous higher point called a resistance line, right? Higher point. So that means higher low, sorry, the lower high. Have you seen? This is a lower high. I just connected lower high and a lower low. So when I connect at lower low and lower high, we have seen the market is running in a range, right? 
once they break this range, have you seen here? Market just broke the range and start market going up. Remember, once they break, always giving a retrace. So that is why I call, according to the price action method, uh, higher high and higher low. Have you seen? Always we have to catch here only. Because we have, so I'll tell you uh, trading in our trading strategy. So I'll tell you how to enter in this market, right? So this is the uptrend confirmation. Just they broke this channel and market just boom, right? So next you can see in a downtrend, right? This is a downtrend. Have you seen market was running in this range in an uptrend? They're creating higher high, higher low, and moving average also running. Suddenly they broke this range. I just connected higher low. Sorry, this is a higher high. Sorry. Uh, this is a higher high, higher low. I just connected higher low, higher low, higher low, and a higher low. After that, after breaking this higher low, market just fell down. This is a, you can see this is a recent uh, like uh, zinc chart. So you can see here 20 May, I think next uh, next week. So I already created some YouTube video uh, when market was running like that, right? So this is. Uh, downtrend and it is, a, it is called price action. And the next, this is also, also sideways. And always remember sideways also running in a range. So we have to find out that range. Have you seen this is the range, resistance line, uh, resistance point, resistance, 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 support, 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 here also support, support. So once they break this support, Right, sorry, resistant price just retraced toward this uh, resistance, and this resistance becoming now acting like a support. Have you seen this is our entry point? And right, so uh, this is a sideway. So let's see now uh, here some combination, right? So, combination uh, how to combine in this market, right? So, let me check it once again. Okay, so no audio. Just a minute, no audio. Now, are you hearing me right now? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Okay, 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 good, good. Because I have seen some uh, Prem Kumar, he's not able to hear me, so that is why I thought, okay. So I think uh, some audio problem with uh, from him, right? Okay, now you can see, uh, we just confirm here, let me, most of the people are uh, confused here. So why I'm looking for three confirmation? Always remember when you wanna enter in this market, always at least take three confirmation. Either you are going to for buy or sell. If three indicator, at least three indicator are giving you for buy signal or sell signal, you then you just sell it. By seeing this only one indicator, never enter in this market, remember. Now here you can see, uh, according to our trend, uh, according to our trend channel, right? We told that uh, when market uh, like this is a trend channel or price channel, you can say like that. So price was running like that, like that, like that. Once it's break, so we we can go for buy right here. But here you can see, have you seen this one? Price was previously running this like that, like that. Price just running like that, and here you can see broke that line but later you can see price fell down so if you want to trade by seeing one indicator this is the one indicator right so by seeing this one indicator they broke this line right have you seen this they broke this line let me remove right have you seen they broke here right this channel but remember According to the price action channel, they are creating lower low, lower high, and the lower low, lower high. 
प्राइज एक्शन चैनल नम्बर टू प्राइज एक्शन चैनल आर टेलिंग आस इट इज अल सरी बट एकर्डिंग प्राइज चेनेल इट टेलिंग आस इन दिस एरिया रिमेम्बर इन दिस एरिया आई एम टेलिंग अबाउट दिस इन दिस एरिया टेलिंग आस इट अ टाइम टू बै राइट If you see moving average crossbar, have you seen this is a short term downtrend, and later you can see this is a long term downtrend because this is a 50 moving average exponential 50 moving average cross. This is a 150 moving average, right? This is a 150 moving average cross here. So, and the third confirmation are showing us is a sell. It is a downtrend. So by seeing this indicator we never gonna enter in this market so because we have seen two confirmation and later they create a new low so this is our sell entry have you seen have you got it what i am telling you that is why always at least find out three confirmation when you will get the three confirmation then you can confirm this is either uh, uptrend or it is a downtrend so from this area we have seen is a downtrend right so let's see another example and uh, this is another uh, sideway so here you can see in that area here there um, it is not working any price action method or moving average cross over or whatever right but here because uh, sometimes uh, moving average is showing it's a buy sometimes it's telling us uh, here it is a sell it and a buy it but one confirmation is clearly sorry clearly telling us the market is running in this range right market is just running in this range no need to trade have you seen right so you can see uh 200 moving average all are running below right here but from this area short term it's just telling us it's a buy short term one indicator right again he tell us sell and price action number two price action are telling here told us right it's broke down one higher point two higher point we never seen at three higher point i think remember i told first higher point second higher point right it's a third higher point when they create at least three higher point it's called buy confirmation but here you can see right let me uh, remove this one all all of them right okay right let me remove this one now you can see we have seen one higher point two higher point there is a no t higher point according to the price action method still they are uh, not able to break this uh, sorry uh, they are not able to run in the uptrend right and again they create a lower point first lower point second lower point is a fail first higher point we have seen here second higher point third higher point is fail but short term moving average crossover telling us this is a buy but Price action, it, it, it is a um, moving average MA cross, MA cross, MA cross telling us it's a buy, right? And uh, price action method, uh, we are using like a price action method. According to the price action method, they are not giving uh, price action, uh, price action method. According to the price action method, they are not giving any buy signal. They are not giving a clear signal they are telling us the market is a sideway remember and if you see the range of this market right if you see the range of this market they are telling uh, price channel you can say like that price channel right price channel according to the price channel they are confirming us the market is a sideway we have seen two sideway confirmation and one are giving some time up and again giving up uh, like down in that area we never gonna enter in this market but you can see here have you seen once they break this area they're creating one sorry they're creating one higher point and higher low have you seen 
second time higher high and higher low third time higher high and a higher low so we have seen one higher point two higher point third higher point and at that time they broke this level have you seen they broke this zone have you seen this was a supporting uh, sorry resistant line resistant 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 and here broke this line have you seen here broke and later you can see all moving averages are crossed arranging sequentially 20 moving averages 50 moving averages and 150 moving averages from that area they are telling us the market just start uptrend right so i hope you understand, uh, you understand uh, what i'm telling and uh, so what's your time now all right and uh, you can see it, uh, we have only 10 minutes so i think one hour is not enough to explain everything right every day because every day i'll 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 be online so you can ask me so you can ask me any question if you have so Definitely, I'll try to uh, I'll try to explain you, right? So here, okay, Bharati Lak is telling: Is there any scanner in charting? Okay, okay. Do you have any query? So you can ask me. So we have only 10 minutes, so I can explain you. And uh, you can ask me any if you have any doubt. So later I will tell you that uh, next webinar I'll tell you where is uh, where is the entry point, where is the exit point, how to calculate the risk management, how to calculate the money management. Uh, so I'll tell you everything. Okay, what is the time period for MSC uh, MCX interday? So here is a uh, Abai. Okay, so interday. So whatever you are going for interday or um, intraday or like a swing trader or scalp trading whatever so first you always okay just a minute so first you always uh, you have to focus on large time frame right so intraday or every everything i i'm explaining okay okay just just a minute Okay. Okay. One by one. Okay. One by one. Let me explain. Let me see from first. Okay. I'll answer you. You can see everything okay. Everything okay. Audio, no audio here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Everything good. Uh, I mean, the account is telephone. So active audio. Okay. So, okay. When it's structure. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let me check it once uh, that uh, message. So I'll tell you. Right. So, sir, what's your YouTube channel link? Okay, okay. They're asking YouTube channel. So, definitely, uh, you can see here uh, YouTube channel. You can just uh, type like Allies do in just go to L um, what call YouTube channel and write down Allies Blue. Allies Blue. So, you will find our YouTube channel, right? Uh, you'll find our YouTube channel. And uh, what is this? And uh, I is just asking me, what is the, the time period for MCX interday? So when you uh, want to enter, uh, when you want to trade in a interday, so you just uh, always find out the trend in a large time frame or whatever, like a four hour, right? So let me explain you, Mr. Abai. Okay, I'll tell you. Just I want to open this one. Have you seen this one? Uh, this I just opened my MT4. Have you seen? 
Okay, let me explain another. So, have you seen uh, why Mr. Uh, why he told ask me intraday? So that is why you just find out uh, that trend. Have you seen here? We have seen some trend is uptrend. So that is why when you find some uh, like a uptrend, so you just start buying only. Right. So now we can see our buy entry will be like that. our buy point and this is our buy point so this is our buy point so i'm I, in our every video i'm telling where is your entry point and where is your exit point right so you can see here 50 moving averages first uh, supporting here at first time we have seen again price just came down and this is our buy entry because we will take only buy risk in h4 h4 market confirming in the uptrend according to our uh, like uh, trend right so according to our three criteria we have seen in a large time frame like four hour we have seen an uptrend so in an uptrend we are going to take only buy risk only and when market will retrace in a small time frame we'll start buying here like here you can see now we can see in a 15 minute have you seen this uh, this is a retracement supported here and it's a buy we have seen some candlestick pattern and giving us uh, on buy confirmation and is our buy point buy point right buy point this is our buy point right and the next you can see here mr okay um, metal audio please yes sir how to record into video sir is in uh, is there any scanner in uh, chart link or oh, chart link there is no scanner like that so this is purely moving average crossover and the trip we are on so yeah mr uh, okay uh, Tilakji, uh, so you can see you asked me scanner. So in scanner, you will find at least one or one indicator confirmation. So I'm going to give three confirmation. So because here is just some psychological factor also because in scanner, you cannot find it, uh, find out the, that higher high and higher low. So that is, it, it will be a little more confused for you, right? Whatever you are explaining me now on daily time period. Okay, so I'm telling you, Mr. Abe, okay. So you just always find out the market four hour or daily. So once you find out the market daily is up, so you just wait like that. Market is daily is uptrend, right? We have seen daily market is running like that, right? Now market is running here. So a small time frame, you just find out the support, supporting area. It's a supporting by moving area. So I'll tell you next uh, webinar, uh, I'll tell you what is the trading strategy. So in my next webinar, I'll tell you where is your entry point, how to enter in this market, right? So then once you find out the market is up, so I'll explain you your entry point. When market are retraced toward this moving average, so it will be entry point, entry point like that. There is a many criteria. So I'll explain later uh, next webinar, okay? Mm, moving average once which apply in the chart. So moving average, I basically using 20 moving average, exponential 50 moving average and 150 moving average. Uh, when 20 moving average cross 50 moving average, this is a short term trend change like that. Let me tell you here, you can see three moving average are there. One is 150. Uh, this uh, middle one is uh, 50 moving average and uh, this is a 20 when when uh, 20 moving average cross 50 moving average when 20 moving average cross 50 moving average right exponent both are all are exponentially right so we can say like that this trend is a downtrend have you seen here so that trend is a short term trend have you seen here crossed here crossed by Moving average, uh, 50 moving, uh, 20 moving average, cross 50 moving average, and uh, 
okay so here you can see this is a short term trend and the short term trend is a down but long term trend is up right so later they again confirm here it's from uptrend right and here you can see short term trend is down from this area this portion this portion let us start again up so here also short term pre up this is uh, like a small uh, uh, like a short term trend and the next when 50 moving average cross 150 moving average that means long term trend is sales right so if you see here uh, let me remove this one so if you want to see here right uh, uh, here have you seen previously there was a uptrend oh, sorry previously there was a downtrend here 150 moving average cross by 50 moving average have you seen from that area it's confirming a uptrend and the previously the mar market was downtrend right so it is a large time time now let's check it another for intraday so we are creating some trading strategy for intraday you can just uh, visit to our website also and later in next webinar i'll let uh, i'll definitely try to uh, uh, solve your problem so and again i want to tell you from monday to friday i will be live on the market so you just you will just uh, you just register with us and you can talk with me directly and you can ask me if you have any position in this market you can discuss with me okay from monday to friday time is not uh, still we are not confirming a letter definitely will confirm you right so and uh, Saturday, we'll discuss about the various trading strategies, support, uh, resistance, how to find a support resistance, uh, how, where is our entry point, where is your exit point, everything, money management, risk management, everything we will explain. Let me, what time frame should we see? Okay, so Mr. Patil, uh, Hamant Patil, you are asking me, before you enter in this market, always find out the time uh, market uh, sorry uh, always use us uh, see the market large time time people are thinking i'm a day trader uh, intraday trader no need to see large time time that that doesn't matter always fine if you see four hour now you can see four hour they are creating higher high and higher low right higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high higher low so when we see in a large time frame, that means we are in bullish, right? So when we'll see the bullish, so we'll take only buy risk. We never take any sell risk. It is very dangerous to catch the falling knife. And don't trade, don't try to be a counter trader. Always, it's a big uh, motto like that. Always trade with the trend. Don't try to change the trend, right? We have seen in a four hour uptrend, so that is we'll, we'll take only buy, right? So let me tell you, so I don't think so already uh, one hour first. So let me explain one thing. So then you will come, uh, so comes to know. So have you seen from this area, the price just broke this area. I just, uh, I given this area. Uh, line have you seen this is the uh, two confirmation in a four hour we have seen from this area market create created higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high once we've seen this a uh, uh, like higher point and moving average crossover we confirm that market just up right from that area we never take any sell position right so let me show you here if you comes in a 15 minute time frame let's check it have you seen from this area uh, there in a large time frame in a four hour time frame we have seen the trend just since from uh, down to up in four hour now we can see this is a 15 minute time frame our entry point let's check it in this area most of the professional traders are entering here. I'm not talking about to enter. So if you see previous market was just bouncing from moving average, 150. Next, we have seen here two confirmation. One confirmation in here, candlestick uh, pattern, they are forming a hammer pattern. And first, they're bouncing 
So in the last time frame, trend is up. So we'll start buying from this area because we have seen a small time frame in a 15 minute. This is a bounce back trading strategy. Next video, I'll explain what is the trading strategies, right? I have a three trading strategies when we I'm getting three confirmation then then I I just start in this market have you seen now this is our entry point next you can see here is the entry point next you can see this is our entry point for the buy not sell I'm not going to sell because market is large time uptrend remember here is a buy but here you can see they're creating lower low and the lower lower low lower low so sorry, uh, lower high, lower high, and higher high. Uh, sorry, higher low, higher low, and uh, now they are forming a triangle pattern. So next, uh, in continuously, I'll explain there is various type of pattern, right? I already wrote it. So if you wanna know about that all pattern, you can uh, visit to our blog page. So written by me. So you just uh, visit to Allies Blue. Uh, sorry, allysblue.com and when you will visit to allysblue.com you just go to and 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 IQ here right uh, this is the and IQ page uh, written by me so here is the expert advisory uh, this uh, I'll create a video regarding this one how to use advice uh, expert advisory automatically they will detect you all signal all are written me and i'm giving some code here so you just copy and paste in only allies blue trading platform it's applicable right so you just go through this written by my name is Stephen Gogoi, and you just copy this link and paste this and iq so automatically when they inform this type of pattern automatically it will uh, inform you right so this is and iq page and then next you can see here pattern right so you can go for search pattern there is a various type of search pattern so one by one i will create some uh, videos regarding this one triangle pattern double top pattern bottom flag pattern right so everything round bottom so you just uh, visit any and read properly so i'll create and i'll give a webinar according to this also i'm writing everything risk management money management buy entry sell entry right so like that candlestick pattern and they can go for Fibonacci. So you just the indicator, every indicator, which is the trend indicator, you just visit there and read their momentum indicator, volume indicator, uh, volatility indicator, a uh, cycle indicator, or you just go to Fibonacci. So Fibonacci all episode, uh, I already posted here. Fibonacci and money management, Fibonacci important things uh, before you trade, Fibonacci and pivot point trading strategy. Fibonacci trading with the news, Fibonacci uh, uh, when to entry in the trade, Fibonacci range trading, Fibonacci with uh, percentage R, Fibonacci and trend line, everything you can go and you just read it one by one. Definitely, I will give a webinar regarding this Fibonacci also. Okay. So next, uh, you can see here. Now. Okay. This board, okay, sir. Okay, next three signal consider give you profit definitely. Intraday 15 minute chart, yeah, definitely. I use intraday 15 minute chart when it's the uh, next webinar. Uh, Aditya uh, Yadav, yeah, Aditya, yeah, next webinar will be in uh, next Saturday, but every day from Monday to uh, Friday, I'll be live, right. So live, that means uh, I'll show you how to trade in this market, live market, right? So I'll explain uh, that that also be like a webinar and uh, you can talk with me. So in that, uh, like uh, Monday to Friday, that that will be for expert trader. So if you are newer, so you just visit and you can uh, see how to analyze the market. So I'm I, in this webinar, we are, uh, I'm explaining how to analyze the market, like how to find out the trend that is uh, in this webinar. And next webinar, I'll from Monday to Friday, I'll explain where to enter and how to enter. 
why I'm going to enter in this market, why I'm not going to enter in this market, where is my SL? So it will be very awesome, I hope. Okay, so, uh, super knowledge, Raman. Okay, you can share this video, Ganesh. Yes, definitely, I'll, um, Mr. Ganesh Murthy, uh, definitely, I'll post in our YouTube channel, and you can, you can, again and again, you can see this, our, uh, this is video, right? So, I hope you enjoy this video, and definitely, if you have any help, you just uh, mail to me, or you just leave a comment. So, it is now time, uh, 5.9. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. We'll uh, meet next uh, Monday. Thanks.